Thank you so very much for being here. Uh, my name is Fritz Heimer, I'm Global Head of Healthcare uh, here at Abbian. I've been here coming up on eight years now, and it just gets more exciting by the week. Uh, as you all have seen yesterday, and certainly this morning and early afternoon as well, there is just some phenomenal, phenomenal excitement building and uh, happening in the world of, of Abbian, and certainly our environment of life sciences and healthcare is no exception. It is my great pleasure today to introduce Sebastian Fromantal, the digital product owner for Sanofi. Uh, Sebastian has worked with us for quite some time now, and he will be discussing saving, protecting, and enhancing lives. So we have some. At Sanofi, we chase the miracle of science to improve people's lives. Scientific discoveries don't happen overnight or without uh, uh, an hard work. So one of the most important milestones in our journey is clinical development. So welcome to this session. I am Sebastian Fomontal. I'm working at Sanofi Digital uh, France team supporting the clinical development operation and most specifically the clinical supply chain for R&D activities. I'm here today to share a success story with Akam, not only one, two. <laughs> and like uh, all uh, great stories, uh, it starts with a protagonist. So, I present the main character of my speech today. This little box, internally known as a kit, but for you today, it will be an IMD. Stands for Investigational Medicinal Product. This is our raison d'être. So, in order to understand our mission, I need to share some context around this little box. First, the mission. The mission is to ensure that this IMD, this product, let's say, is delivered all around the world, on time, at the right, at the right place, in good condition, and in sufficient quantities for the participants of the clinical trials. Okay. And to understand the challenges and the complexity around the delivery of this IMP, I need to share about the context on the material. So, let's open this, just to make this concrete for you. This is what we will deliver to a participant of a clinical trial. And basically inside there is this, so the drugs administrated to the participant. Okay. In order to uh, package and to release this little box, this IMP, we needed to have a robust plan and to fulfill our uh, warehouse with this, the drug product, intermediate and DP. And in order to produce this drug product, our facilities need to produce the drug substance. So you get it? Drug substance, we can produce the product and we can package and release the IMP. So now you know the material flow. And I need to deep dive again on the physical flow of this IMP. So remember our mission, deliver uh, on good condition this IMP to the participant of clinical trial all around the world in site investigators, okay? So this is what we call dispensation. This is the last phase of our story. Before this, we need to ensure the shipping of this box and the traceability during the delivery. And right before this, we need to be able to perform the manufacturing step, so prepare this box with the drug product, and to tell our manufacturing teams how and on time to create the product and the substance. And so we come our latest uh, steps, which is in fact the forecasting one, and it will be our main area to discuss today. 
we are trying to improve the upstream steps of this physical flow, so starting from the forecast, in order to have very solid plan, what we call forecasting and ordering step, in order to have an efficient material flow until the dispensation. Okay? Good. So now you know the context. We come to the Appian solution. We have uh, worked together and how Appian supported our business case. First, the challenge, the forecasting part. With Appian, we work uh, couple of time trying to improve the, uh, the, the, the planning, what we call the demand planning, and we produce a new uh, system called R2DP. So this is an acronym for research and development to demand planning. Our vision was to create an efficient tool where we can consolidate all the clinical forecast data and basically make assumptions. So it seems easy, like we say. <laughs> but in fact, this is really complex because you can imagine that the purpose of this is to create what if scenario. What if scenario is very complex because you need to imagine multiple timelines in parallel with several parameters that we can change every day to make new assumptions and to revise our planning every day. So try to imagine a system, an easy system for us, but a very complex data model behind that we are consolidating all our clinical forecast for clinical studies, what we call the demand, and all the CMC parameters, which is basically the capacity to answer to this demand, the supply. Okay? So this tool, uh, has been executed with, uh, uh, with the help of Appian services and technologies. And now we have a, a robust system to consolidate this, uh, this data, to make forecast assumptions, so what if scenario. And one of our killer features that we are very proud of this is the way that we were able to interface this brand new system with our master data management system in Sanofi. So you can imagine that we have a big system in place to manage the global strategy of our company and we just need to pick up some data of interest into R2DP in order to play with it and to create what is scenario. Thanks to Appian integration, it was really, really easy to interface with this MDM system and to go to this system, take some data of interest for the, uh, for the work of the day and coming back to the system to check the updates, which allow easily to create new what-if scenario and to change our parameters depending on the on, on the day-to-day -day activities. Okay, and uh, the last feature, which is uh, pretty much mandatory for such a system, is the tracking of the change. So this system allow to have a full traceability of all the activities we perform in R2DP, meaning versioning, change justification, and at any time we can go back to previous version and reinstate the data again with justification. So at the end, it allow to support the what-if scenario and to play with the multiple timelines. So coming back to our big picture now, you can uh, see that we have improved the first step, the forecasting, and we are able with this new Appian system to work from a project perspective to a planning. Let's go to the second step, which we call the ordering. And here with Appian services, again, we created a new system called EBMO. Yes, we love the acronyms. Uh, EBMO stands for Electronic Bulk Manufacturing Order and basically this is uh, an easy product to manage the drug product manufacturing order. So you can ask why and I will answer because we have to. In fact, produce an order for the manufacturing of the DP, the drug product, is a request from health authorities and so we have to demonstrate the ability to track the request for our DP request and to exchange this 
with our manufacturers in order to create a concrete request that will be added to the submission dossier of the new medicine. So here on EBMO system we developed with, uh, with the help of Apian, we, uh, we were able to support a GMP business requirement, which is a high standard in the health, in the health uh, industry. We have now a system which is replacing very whole capacities in our, uh, in our landscape with a fresh new system to produce orders, but not only because we can make relation between the requesters and the manufacturers and within this system they can exchange with a kind of chat feature about their request and how to reply to this request. So all of these features embedded in EBM. Again, we have a killer feature for our team which is the interface with our enterprise master data management system. Again, all of this master data exists in our landscape. We just need to take this. So we have an interface, a direct interface with our uh, core system in order to retrieve the data of interest and easily create a new order based on the master data existing in our company. And uh, one of the most important feature I will say here, as you understand, this is a GMP system, so highly regulated. We need to track change. This is mandatory. So each data which is changed or modified needs to be tracked and we need to have a justification or a change approval attached to this data. Thanks to the data model developed with Afian, we can do this also. So supporting GMP uh, authorities requirement, tracking change and fulfill the result which is manage the DP order. So coming back to the big picture again, you can see now that we have improved the first part or two challenge, the forecasting one. From a project, we can do a planning thanks to R2DP. And from the planning, we can jump to the scheduling with EBM. So now you know the context, you know the what, let's see the how. Let's talk Agile. So Agile is a product mindset, I will say, a set of practice in product development. And we were looking at Sanofi uh, for, for a partner uh, that we can work together based on this set of practice. We were lucky enough to, uh, to uh, meet with Apian France team with a, a very uh, good uh, project uh, team uh, supporting here the, the needs for agility challenge us also sometimes <laughs> but at the end it was a great collaboration working uh, on, the, on the principle of agility so let's go into the details two products coming back to R2DP the first one so data consolidation for the clinical forecast Based on the agility, we were able with Appian France to have a sprint zero in less than five days on such a complex system. It was amazing. So just as a reminder, a sprint zero is the phase in Agile where we share the requirement, the expectation to the partner to produce a plan for the execution of the product after. So five days, less than five days, for such a complex data model, it was amazing. You can imagine for R2DP that, uh, as I said, we are working with what-if scenario. So basically, you have a data model fitting for one scenario, but here in Sanofi, we requested to go to the, uh, the next layer. So take some part of the what-if scenario to create another what-if scenario. And we can exchange data from a scenario to another, take this as a basis, copy-paste, modify some scenario, coming back to the previous one, and mix all the reality. It's like a multiverse. <laughs> Very complex, but with Akan, we were able to do this, and we are really happy of the, of the result at the end. So five days for the Spring Zero, followed by 60 days three full-time developers for six sprints of development, 
this is quite impressive, to be honest. <laughs> so now the impact for Sanofi is very huge. We have a data, we have a system that we can centralize the data with a very consistent data formatting feature. Uh, we allow productivity gains for our teams on the establishment of the what if scenario and the comparison of the different timelines. And for sure, uh, we have reduced the, the cycle time, uh, which was one of our main objectives for such a system. For the second one, for IBMO, we had much more ambitious objective. <laughs> so here, for quite a I will say a simple system for a numbering uh, manufacturing DP system. We had a sprint zero of only four days, yeah, maybe less than four days. <laughs> Being that like, uh, we were really prepared for this. And at the end, with the huge capability of Appian low code integration solution services, we had only 20 days with two full time developers. It means sprints of development from zero to the rollout in production, validated, remember this is GXP, so validated, approved by the user in production ready to use. Less than one month from zero to the end. Quite impressive. So now with IBMO, we have a system that supports GMP processes. It was our first objective. And the second one, allow productivity gains because our team can talk and exchange together very quickly, much more easier than before. So talking about Agile, I have to mention that uh, we had a great team in place here. Uh, this is important for me to thank all the team. I know they, they are in the room today. <laughs> uh, Agile. We use the, the, um, the methodology called Scrum Agile. And for this, this is based on a set of practices. And as this set of practices relies on a manifesto. If you know this manifesto, like me, <laughs> there is uh, some four principal values at the beginning. And if I had to retain only one, and this is a key success factor on this both project, this is individual and interaction. Overall, if you have the right individual, you put in place the right interaction between our business team and Appian partner, for sure you have a success. So, this is the time to thank you, team members. <laughs> Coming back to my last slide on the big picture, you can see now that we have improved the forecasting part, which is only the beginning of a big journey. With always the same mission in mind, provide this IMP at the best condition possible everywhere in the world. Thank you.